Hello everybody, this is Quiversy, and welcome back to Kirby Squeak Squad. Last time we finished up the Vocal Volcano and found our way to the Ice Island. Uh, I guess we're going to be starting off with what looks to be some kind of frozen forest. Yeah, there's a tree there. Only one though, not really much of a forest, it's just one tree. Let's hope we find some more. Our first, our first power we find in the Ice World is fire. That's... I don't know what kind of omen that is, but it's an omen. At least the second power we found was ice. <laughs> this is a nice little peaceful stage so far. I like it. I say as I get smacked in the face by a penguin. Also should mention, in case it's not obvious, there are ice physics on the snow, which... I don't know, to me that doesn't make too well, probably much sense. Right there. Okay, good. And it doesn't make too much sense to me, because, like, I guess if it's, like, really hard snow, it could be slippery, but a lot of times it doesn't feel all that slippery. Uh, we got ourselves an animal here. It means there's probably some dirt up ahead. So let's go on ahead and just grab that power right now. Eh, dirt, snow, same diff. I have a feeling if I use that fire bubble, I can probably burn through it. That would be the actual difference. No, go in. Thank you, Kirby. Ugh. Should mention it's been about a week since I've recorded anything. Uh, no real reason, just been busy with other stuff. So it's good to get back into this. I've been itching to play some Kirby. On a side note, I just now noticed I've got three life bubbles. Ah, oh, man. Offered me a lot of different powers here. A spark, I saw a tornado earlier. A sword. But, um, I'm still digging, so... Come on, let's dig the diggy claws, thanks. Ah, digging up actually damages things, that's good. Um, I have a feeling that this is meant to be the non-animals path. Yeah, I'm gonna go back because I think I saw a way down, and I have a feeling that's gonna be where I'm gonna find a box. My animal! I swear, I thought I was gonna lose it. And I would have deserved it after how that went. Uh, that's one up bubble, I don't care about that. Oh, wait. No, this isn't, uh. Okay, not quite what I expected to. I can drop the button with me. Why do I have a feeling that's gonna be used for a puzzle later? Oh, wait a minute. No, that's just a way for me to get through without animal. Okay, well, I guess it makes sense. That would imply that this is the way I have to go. Yeah, and... Oh, no, it was used for a puzzle. The button at the bottom opens that door, but you can't get it unless you dig down. Okay, that's clever. I like that a lot. And now we are in the icicle game. Complete with stalactites. There we go. It's up here. It must be a door with another box. Okay. What do? That just leaves the mouse box. Whatever is inside. Uh, okay. Offering me laser, but I'm gonna keep the animal drill. Whoa. Almost lost the animal drill right there. <laughs> uh, up or down? Let's go up because up is more dangerous. Offering me metal and a door. I'll take the door. Oh, I was about to say I think I made a mistake, but no, looks like I didn't. Alright. Give me that box! Mighty! Go away! And just like that, stage one of the Ice Island is done. What's in the box? Another puzzle piece. The sword ability! Yes! Another sound desk. I don't really care about that, though. I now need to find sword. Fast! Come on, sword. Um... This feels ominous and very spiky. Looks like we're also much deeper into the forest. I mean, in the tower you can see in the, um, well, map is in the background. At least it was. <laughs> Didn't really take notice until it was a little late. Aha, uh -huh, there's something hidden up the tree! It's a button. Magic! Magic! Give me magic! 
I, I now have to find out how to get over there. That is my mission. No. Okay, if I can't have magic, I want to keep animal. I'm really liking the drill right about now. Speaking of drill! What? Okay, that seems really strange. Why does the animal drill only crack the ice, but the slide kick outright shatters it? Ugh. I have to give up the animal drill now, don't I? Ah, oh, well. You know, let me see if I can respawn the hothead. I want to see if I can save my bubble. I can! Excellent! Just stop slip sliding all over the ice. That'd be great. Thank you, Mr. Slime Ball. And here we go. Well, that didn't work. Yeah. I, I just realized I probably could have actually gotten away without using fire on the cannon and just used animal to break the ice. Eh, probably wouldn't have let me go up. <gasps> My prize is magic. Okay. If I can actually get through the door, that'd be great. Thank you. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time going through doors. Oh, boy. Okay, let's cut the ropes. Oh, it actually does something this time. I remember when we cut the chains in the one metal stage in the jungle, uh, it basically did nothing, but here, no, it was dropping stuff. I'll gladly break and I'll break open these fire canisters to start little tiny fires to get rid of the shots, those, although it looks like that one was a red herring. Um, I'm not sure how best to deal with this. I forget if the cannons deal actual damage on combat. Ah, they do. Well, lesson learned. Time for magic fun. Okay, at least that one wasn't a red herring. I feel like I should have found another box by now. Especially since I'm now at the mouse box. Alright, nope. Ah! I kind of wish I had, like, wheel or something right about now. Uh-oh, he's getting away! Ah! My shiny box! Whew! So wait, that should be the last star seal then, because all of the glowing ones have been star seals. Yes! I've collected them all! Okay, um, hold on a sec then. Collect them all. Uh. Now what? I have no idea what that's for. Um, maybe the game will tell me later, but I collected them all! Maybe it's something like it unlocks the true ending or something? I don't know. Mm. I want to see the new sword power, but I get sword way more often than I get magic. So I'm going to hold on to magic as long as I can. Sword will have its time. Sleep. I forget if I found the sleep scroll or not. Like I said, it's been about a week. So it's entirely possible that I found the sleep scroll. I just don't remember. Probably should have checked, actually, which scrolls I got uh, when I was in the collectible screen earlier. Oh, well. Once again, it'll have its time if it does. I wouldn't want to get rid of magic for it either way. Duh! Oh, come back! My magic! My top hat! It is too fancy for the Scarfies. On a side note, we're climbing up a tower made of ice. Okay, I need a different power for this, so I'm gonna have to get rid of magic at some point. I'm gonna be either getting metal or hammer. Ooh. Uh, you know what? Let's. Can I break that? It looks like ice I can break. I guess magic doesn't break ice! Uh oh. No! I'm sorry, magic is just so fun to me. Even though I once again acknowledge it really isn't all that strong. It's just cool. Ooh. 
interesting way to make the path there. Uh-oh, I have a choice of direction. Up! And looks like I sealed my fate. I've got a feeling that one of the paths there would have taken me to a box or to a means to get that other box down there that I can't get. Okay. There we go. It kept, it kept sucking air when I wanted to send the clown. Eh, may as well fuse those two water bubbles. There we go. Don't really have too much to add to this. We're just climbing up an ice tower. It's got a lovely purple background, though. I don't know if that's actually a thing or not, but any, I, I've noticed that a lot of games that have ice settings have, like, purple ice, and I almost thought that looks so cool. Pun not intended. Whoa! Blade Knight there, on the other hand, is not. Uh, I'm not gonna get that. So I would very much like to hit the buttons so I can go back. Uh, can I hit that button again from here? No. Dang, I have missed so much. Am I at least gonna get a mouse box? I have a feeling this is gonna be the stage I get stuck on today. Oh no, the doctor is here, and so is a thundercloud! What? <laughs> oh, come on! Get it. <laughs> oh man, I should have just rid the cloud. There we go! Ha ha! And we're done. Goodbye! Crazy Dr. Mouse. Well, at least I got one box. <laughs> see what we got. It is a vitality piece! Alright, that makes our third life extension. And two more of those to go. Well, I'm missing two boxes, so I guess I will... I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I mean, I know a couple of spots where I could diverge the path. Alright, I love magic. I do need to change it. So what is the sword upgrade? Without looking, I'm gonna guess sword beams. Fire sword? Um, this game sure has a tension for fusing things with fire. I don't have a problem with it, it's just like... For sword? That seems weird. You know what? I'm gonna find out if I have the sleep scroll, because I forgot to check. I do! So what is the sleep... Scroll? you make sleep awesome all you had to do was let it heal okay I didn't expect that Can I get that nope. I didn't expect that and I feel like I should have but dang sleep heals oh man I'm so happy about that okay well I saw a hammer bubble down there, which means that I need to get there through some external means. I couldn't get it. Um... Because I know I need that hammer to get past the wooden head. I have a feeling I've got to do something with the cannon room. Okay, did I go up or down here? I think I went down. So I'm gonna go up. Yeah, I went down! Because I did not have access to this before. Ow. I wanted to eat him. I didn't want to destroy him. Can I, can I get him back? I can! Come on. What sword. Thank you. Um, wait. Can I go back? Dang. So... Cause I don't think I could have gotten that. Uh, I don't think I could have gotten that through. Um, what am I trying to say? I'm pretty sure that I have to go through this multiple times to get everything. Is what 
I'm thinking here. Also, I don't know why Mix Bubbles makes me get Power Salt so much. But I'm getting kind of tired of it. At least I don't have to worry about the box that I just kind of grabbed anyway. I didn't even mean to go in here. Uh, you know what? Let's fuse the, uh, the parasols. Why not? Are you trying to tell me something, game? Are you trying to tell me Kirby needs a parasol? Because I don't want it. I've got sword. I had magic earlier, but I had to get rid of it. There are many things I could do that aren't Parasol. Ah, well, what's in the box? Another puzzle piece and magic! All right, I got my magic back. I'll take it. Okay, so that means that the hammer thing absolutely has to be in the uh, cannon room. So, I guess I'll just meet you there. Uh, so, yeah, whoa! Hey, bubble. bubble here. Uh, the thing I said earlier about how you have to go through the stage multiple times, yeah, I was wrong. I just forgot which way things were. Anyway, looks like there's a cannon down below. And this is gonna take me to the room with the hammer bubble, isn't it? Yep, sure enough. Get out of there. I don't want that. I want this. So, how do I get down? I, oh, this now shoots me up. Okay. It just changes the room to make all the cannons force you here. Okay, then. We got this. Let's just wham that block. That peg-shaped block. <laughs> and, yeah, then we go here. So, yeah, I, I could have gotten all three boxes in one run. I was just being stupid. Oh, well. To the exit! Away! Phew. And with that, the ice tower is complete. What's in the box? Fighter has gained a new ability. Man, we're racking those up. Whew! Um... Yeah, let's do one more. It's been a while, so I think I'm gonna enjoy this a little longer as we go... Ooh, beautiful aurora boy Alice. Look at that! And I have a feeling if this was made on, like, uh, higher quality system, that would be fully animated and shimmering. I can just, I'm just picturing how that would look. It would be beautiful. Kirby games have always had good scenery and backgrounds and such. <sighs> Looks like there's a box down there that I can't get. And judging by the bomb block, I'm guessing I've got to find some other way down. Like through here, for example. Whack the blocks and... You know what? Screw the cannon. I make my own path! There we go. Oh. Oh. See, the Blade Knight, he fell. He didn't listen. He didn't listen to reason. And that's why I have the hammer. Okay, are we going to a cave? Sort of. Woo! You know, if I didn't already have hammer, I would probably take Tornado. Actually, that's not true. If I didn't already have hammer, I'd have popped the magic bubble by now. <laughs> I love that thing too much. Ooh, there was water down there. Why? Whoa. Hey, they're being offered magic again. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen Boxy. Whoa. Yeah, most of them have gotten magic and spit through uh, bubbles. Alright, you know what? I did not mean to do that. Okay. I need you to throw a present this way. You know what? I'll just take the Waddle D. There. Oh. Fine. Parasol. There. My magic. 
I took way more damage doing that than I expected. Or than I should have. Well, before that happened, I was about to say that this level is just kind of peaceful. It's one of the reasons I wasn't really saying much for a bit there. This looks suspicious. Like, really suspicious. <gasps> I kind of wish I still had a hammer for that level of suspicious, but I don't, so I'll just keep moving. Whoa. Wait, what's down here? Oh! It does exist. I was wondering when I was going to get this. Okay, magic, I love ya. But UFO! Wow, I'm so lucky I copied a UFO! I can do four different moves. It all depends on how long you hold B. So, yes, it is a charge-based move. If you just tap B, it's basically a powered-up version of the beam. Uh, the light release is basically laser. The medium and heavy releases are just bigger lasers. And I have no idea what the upgrade for this could possibly be. Probably just another charge tier. Yep. UFO is pretty universal with it. And as you can see, it also grants you... Very, very good control in the air. It's basically like Cupid, but, well, you're always flying, so you don't have to, like, ja jump twice. And it's, um, faster. Has better control. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. Also, they pierce walls. Another important thing about UFO is that it is often able to solve literally any puzzle in the game. So the fact that I was hitting that and it did nothing means there's nothing I can really do there. Whoa! <laughs> Scarfies everywhere. Um, but the only other thing I can think to mention about UFO is that um, it tends to go away at the end of a level. Like, I'm pretty sure it actually... Yeah, it did. It debuted in um, Kirby's Adventure. And that was how it worked, is it went away after every stage. And it looks like it can't be used for quite all the puzzles, because it's not helping here. Yeah, that's, that's, that's nothing doing. Shoot! So if I want the box, I need to get rid of UFO. You know what? That's fine. I know that there's a bubble of it here, which means I can take it with me anywhere I want. Looks like ninja for now. Yeah, kind of think of it. Do, did I ever look at ninja's great power? I don't think I did. It's a charge. Whoa! Whoa! Ninja fire! All right! <laughs> I like that! And on top of that, it melts ice and snow? You know what? I'm okay getting rid of the UFO for this. Uh, I'm not so okay with the fact that I can't get the box. Hmm. Can I suck it up? Well, you know what that means? I'm not going back. Come on. Kill me. Sir Kibble. Pop away. Really? Oh, okay. You wanted to do a trick shot, huh? Do it again. I dare you. Think you're so tough? Come on. Come and get me. There you go. That's a good kibble. Okay. So... What I need to do, then... Is I need to first break the path. There we go. And this should allow me to exit, which I should have just done this in the first place. And now I can get the box. Learning experience. Okay. In. Great. So now we just gotta find out where the mouse box is. <clears throat> this place. 
place looks very, very dangerous with all the stalactites, but it's actually very simple. Come on. Throw it! I'm having a really hard time doing that. I don't know why. That's what I was trying to do. Throw the dang thing up. Uh, you know what? Let's get Cupid. Why not? Still haven't gotten Cupid's upgrade. I wonder what it's gonna get. Oh, well, we'll probably find out sooner rather than later. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore the bomb things. Yeah, now that I'm actually in Cupid's form, I can really see the difference in speed and control compared to UFO, especially speed. It's noticeably slower compared to UFO. Shame I'm not gonna have the mystery of, um, of whether or not we keep it or not solved, but I'll figure that out another time. Anyways, what did Fighter get when it upgraded? It got a stronger Hadouken. That was not what I meant to do, but I'm glad it killed something. So is it just like another charge here? Ooh. Yeah, it's just another charge here. Okay. Good to know. Shame I can't charge it in the air still, but eh, what are you gonna do? Ah! Mouse box! Who's it gonna be? It's the big boy. Okay. No, he can't get me up here. That's the boss fight! Whoa! <laughs> four tomatoes or four one-ups? What an offering! I've never seen that! <laughs> I couldn't lose! Okay, so let's see, we've got the secret room key, some more music notes, and another color. Cool! Okay, well that took a little longer than I expected, mainly because I was kind of meandering around. Uh, so I guess next time on Kirby's Squeak Squad, we're gonna probably be finishing the Ice Island. Just starting to breeze through this at a rapid pace. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.